Hello and welcome Aquarius. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. All right Aquarius, so let's get started. Let's see what is going to come out, what's coming through, and what is it that you need to know. So what messages does Aquarius need to know? What is coming out? What's coming through? What do they need to know? One more shuffle here. Okay. So we have the Hermit card. So getting the Hermit card a lot, a lot here. Um, Four of Wands, we have Death, we have Five of Pentacles, Three of Swords, wow, um, Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have that Devil card going on. All right. Hmm. All right, so Aquarius, um, the Hermit card showing up. That shows, you know, you're doing some kind of soul searching here. You know, you're trying to find something. You're trying to figure something out. I think you're trying to figure out this situation that involve, that involves um, heartbreak. There could have been cheating here or a third party situation. Somebody could have been tempted with, you know, like I said, the devil card being on the bottom of the deck. You know, somebody could have been tempted, um, could have possibly cheated. Hmm. Yeah, and it's like somebody's trying to find the answers. Hmm. I keep hearing like home wrecker. So for some of you, this is marriage. That somebody kind of stepped outside the lines on. For others of you, <clears throat> this is a twin flame union, soulmate connection. Yeah, Aquarius, I'm getting more twin flame union for you. Um, with this death card. We have a situation that has ended. It's been a very painful ending. Somebody feels very much left out in the cold, very, um, very much stuck. It's like kind of frozen in time almost. Something could have happened last like maybe winter time or something along those lines, um, just for like a time framing here, um, or like fall, late fall into winter is the time frame I'm getting for some of you. Um, could be like possibly when you separated from this person, when things kind of went down. Like I said, it feels to me like somebody is very heartbroken here. Um, maybe your person, you guys are at a like um, a distance, long distance relationship, uh, geographically speaking. Um, or it feels like this person just kind of moved away. So take that how it resonates. Hmm. I don't know, things feel stuck. It almost feels undecided here. Yeah, there's been an ending though, because of, like I said, a heartbreak. There's some mistrust issues. Like I said, we had to do the hermit. We had to kind of go within, gain, you know, some different insight here because we're doing, having to do some soul searching. Um, this is kind of just cutting off no contact here. You know, like I said, with this four of wands. Yeah, because it really just feels like this ended. For some of you, this is kind of like the beginning of a twin flame relationship that really ended abruptly. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you, this is a situation ending because your person had to um, 
like I said, lives at a distance and is currently away from you. And it's very heartbreaking to you. But it's like they had to go. Because I keep getting like long distance. Hmm. Let me see. All right. What other messages do we have here? Actually, I want to clarify the Hermit card, please. So we have the Eight of Pentacles clarifying the Hermit and then the Queen of Cups. So having to really examine our feelings, having to do that work on ourselves, having to um, realize, like I said, that we can't rely so much on another person, possibly, like I said, this twin flame person, to make us happy. But we have to do the work ourselves, and that's what caused us to do, you know, the hermit, to go within, to, um, like I said, do that soul searching. Because this person really hurts you, and like I said, really kind of pushed you out into the cold, and it just felt like, you know, things were cut off, communication, um... Yeah. Okay, I want to know about the Six of Swords, please. Okay, so again, we have that Devil card coming out, and we have the King of Swords. So Six of Swords, Devil card, yeah. Um, hmm. This is really somebody carrying some baggage, not being completely truthful and honest. Um, yeah, it's like they're carrying a lot of extra baggage is what I keep getting. And then, of course, you know, with the Devil card again, um, there could be a lot of toxicity. There could be some codependency issues here. Because, like I said, I keep getting carrying baggage. And then with this particular Six of Swords, you know, trying to move forward. But like I said, it just, it feels stuck. You know, and it just doesn't feel like they're really moving. It almost looks like the, the ship is kind of sinking. Hmm. All right, yeah, so there's got to be some big changes here. And that's even if you guys want this person back. It just feels very painful right now. Death card is being clarified by the King of Cups. So see, we have that connection. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the King of Cups here coming out. So very strong connection. Lots of feelings, lots of emotions. It's like both of you are hurting, but one person knows that they, yeah, see, again, Three of Pentacles talking about a third-party situation, um, not working together, possibly outside interference here, um, trying to build, trying to work together, but somebody's withholding emotions here. Um, Aquarius, I'm getting, you know, this is your person withholding emotions, not really telling you how they truly feel. Yeah. I think it's because they don't know what they want themselves. I really don't. Let me go ahead and clarify the Five of Pentacles as well. I wasn't, I was actually just going to use these for extra messages like I've been doing for the other signs, but I feel the need to clarify for you guys. Okay, so we get two fours. We have the four of pentacles and the four of wands. So again, four of wands comes out. Yeah, see, and you see how the door, is, yeah, because I kept hearing, um, you know, like homework or breaking up a happy home. It feels like this can be fixed. 
if you guys wanted to fix it, it feels like it can be fixed. It feels like it can be repaired. Um, both parties feel bad. One feels heartbroken. One feels guilty. But, you know, both equally feeling, you know, just bad. Hmm. So, yeah, so let's see what messages your person wants you to know. But it feels like if communication were to open up, it could be fixed. But, of course, you know, that is up to you. Because it does feel like the person at fault here wants to come back, wants to either apologize or open up communication. So what is it they want Aquarius to know? Yeah, this person definitely has a lot of work to do on themselves. Um, yeah, and Aquarius, if you do take them back, you know, or, you know, you have that conversation, take things slow. Definitely just things need to be taken slow. I don't see them reaching out anytime soon. It's going to be a while, but it still feels like they want to apologize. Yeah, see, I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. Um, your beauty still moves me. No other compares to you. You've been in my dreams, and my mind um, and heart always comes back to you. All right. So let's go ahead and get some uh, Twin Flame Angel numbers, just for extra messages, see what else we have. What else we need to know here for Aquarius. All right, we have 2020. Remain optimistic about your connection. Your true heart's desire is on the horizon. So what it is that you want from this situation or from, you know, a, um, a connection, you know, possibly a new connection, you know, your heart's desire is on the horizon. So just remain optimistic. You know, like I said, focus on your happiness, focus on your inner work, you know, because right now your heart is broken. So, you know, and that's okay. You you can heal from that. You can move on from that. You know, and you find someone who treats you the way you deserve to be treated. All right, so 229. Patience is required as one twin is still struggling to gain clarity with current challenges. Yeah. See, and that's when I feel, I keep feeling from this person. Like they want to come back. They want to apologize. They want to open communication. But it, they just don't know how. They don't know the right words to say. And right now they don't even know if you want to speak to them. Or if you would be willing to speak to them. So like I said. It's it's going to be a while. <clears throat> Patience is definitely going to be required. And like I said. Even when you do. This person does come back. Wants to talk. Wants to communicate. You know again. You're going to have to take things slow. You know. You're really going to have to set up those boundaries. All right, so then we have 717. An encounter with your twin flame could be on the horizon. All right, and then I'm going to show you the bottom because it feels like this is a message for somebody. So 7111. Triggers brought on by your counterpart are necessary for the healing of past wounds and traumas. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's take a romance angel. Just to get any other, okay. So let your friends help you is the first card that comes out. Um, ask for and accept support from others. You know, yeah, just because you're going through a lot, it feels like you're going through that hermit mode. Like I said, doing soul searching, really trying to do that work on yourself. You know, really, um, you know, evaluate your emotions, really kind of look, you know, like I said, do that inner work. Um, but don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, talk to your friends. Don't keep all that inside. All right. Aquarius, get you some Pisces friends. <laughs> they are great listeners. Okay. We had one more. A past life relationship. So you have known each other before. So maybe that's what's so hard about letting this connection fully go is because it could be because it was a past life relationship. And that's, like I said, just kind of what makes it hard to fully let go or to, you know, fully just say, you know, I'm done. Even though my heart is breaking, I'm, I'm completely done. 
<clears throat> all right yeah because like I said it does feel like some of you out there want to give this person another chance and you know if you do like I said there's there's still potential here you know this person is feeling you know pretty bad um, like I said, there's definitely some toxicity, definitely some codependency issues. So it's going to take some time. It's going to take some healing and definitely setting up some healthy boundaries with this person. Um, but like I said, it, it has potential if that's what you want, Aquarius. So, all right. Well, that is what I have for you for this week. So I do hope this helps your situation. Um, thank you so much for spending your time with me. And until next time, take care.